right now I'm going to show you how to paint something that you've built and took a long time to build and you're like, you know what, this needs a refresh, this needs a different you know, type of stone or a different type of coloring. You just want to change it around and you're like, I didn't, can't rebuild the whole thing. So we're going to use our code builder to repaint it. And so you can see I have lots of structures here, but I want to repaint this yellow one. Uh, I kind of want to make it more of a kind of an orangish black, uh, maybe kind of fall, more fall colors with the, the orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Code Builder by pressing the letter C. And there my code will come up and I'm going to select a new project and I'm going to name it Paint and Create. Now I'll get my typical commands in here. I don't want to use any of these, so I'm just going to trash them. And I am going to use the on player walk. And I'm going to click on the down arrow to change it to fly. Because I want to fly around and kind of as if I am painting uh, the building. And you could do it in one full, full sweep too if you wanted to, if you knew the coordinates. But this is kind of a way that you can do it and see it as it goes. Uh, just depends on your coordinates. So now there's some blocks that you can use to actually change or replace. So I'm going to replace those yellow blocks with something new here. So first of all, what block is it? So let's go and find the yellow terracotta. There we go. And we're going to replace it with Let's replace it with a magma. It's kind of a nice kind of Halloween-y color. Now, this next step here is all about your relative position because it's on the player. It's a relative position to that player. So as I am going, it will do that distance. It'll paint or change those blocks based on it. Right now, since they're both at zero, it's not going to do anything because it's not going to not going to notice a difference. It's almost like a flat 2D. So what we're going to do is we're going to say in the middle, one below us. So that means any blocks below us, right, right below us, will change. And then we're going to extend it all the way to about 20 blocks. Because those buildings are about, um, excuse me, 20 blocks high uh, there. So, so it'll do straight up and from a little bit below. And then the buildings are about 30 in depth. And I know it's uh, just from traveling in the world. Um, it's back negative in this position rather than a positive. Uh, so it's about 30 away. So it's going to paint about 20 blocks high and 30 blocks in depth as I fly around. So now we'll see. We'll get a little closer. Uh, you can already see I'm close enough. Look how much it already painted. I'm just going to fly up so you can see. It's already done all of that. And since I'm not quite close enough, if I start going a little closer, you're going to see it's painting there. And I only did one below. I guess if I did larger, it would, it would do that. So let's just go down to the bottom, back up a tiny bit. And then as I sidestep, you're going to see each area. I'll look in a different direction, but you can see. Oh, I skipped that one. I went a little further. And it's painting also the insides, right? So the entire thing, just like that, will be a different color. Make sure I get, oops, make sure I get a little closer. And you can see any remaining spots that you may have missed. And if I go all the way up, you can see it's done. I'm gonna turn around. You can even look in the glass areas here. And it's all been repainted just like that. But none of these other ones are. So it's specific just to that block, and it replaced it. Now these back ones, I guess I was not close enough. So probably wondering, OK, I'm right on it. Why is it not doing it? Because it's a negative position to me. So if I look this way, for example, it will paint it. Um, I could go back up to the front and adjust just to, so you could see go back and adjust this because that's kind of about 
what you want to do in Code Builder is, is make adjustments based on things. So what if I change this to negative you know, 50, just to make sure. And now if I go through those areas. It will assure me that any of those spots as I'm flying will be changed in their colors. And I could do it alternately in all directions. That way, no matter where I fly or where I go, it's there. And those last two spots, huh? And there's underneath there. It was kind of behind that tree. There we go. You can even go in the building itself, fly up and fly around. You can see now it's all painted that different color. And that didn't take too long, but it was kind of that painting effect that I wanted to show you. Uh, of course, if you choose a different dimensions for your, your blocks here, it'll do it even quicker.